It's not fucking snowing outside. And it's the middle of winter. Good. I hate the snow. But I got to make it look like I'm actually having the Christmas spirit inside me. Even though I'm an atheist. Oh well, I'll just green screen this shit. Okay, Chunky, so what do we have here? Well, we have this one feminist that you encountered earlier today. And, well, it's a bit late for Christmas, so you're gonna have to just make a straightforward video response. But, Chunky, I have reached over 1,000 subs. I should at least make this video special. Just slap the 1,000 subs logo on your video. In fact, let me do it right now. There you go. Now just make your video. But... Chunky... We're in a fucking march right now! If you don't make this video now, someone else will, and you won't get your point across! Sorry about that, I'm just really tired. Just want to go to sleep. This is the 1000 sub special. And this goes to a very special snowflake by the name of Fun Med. I, I, I think I said it right. I have voices in my head. They talk to me. They understand. So for whatever reason, you found yourself in an argument against feminism. Well, for the most part, the reason they're arguing against it is because there's something wrong with it. It's not like these people just hear the word feminism and act like it's some sort of evil party. Ugh, we're here to take over the world. <laughs> but here's the thing. Your argument sucks. Oh, this going to be good. Let's start with the most basic shutdown against feminism. Feminism is sexist. You've come to this conclusion because you've been taught that sexism is basically the prejudice, stereotyping, and discrimination on the basis of sex. Well, that is what the dictionary says. After all, the feminists tend to Bible from the dictionary when it comes to the meaning of feminism. So, let's see what your point is. Right. Before I even get into this, I just want to state that it's impossible for the oppressor to be the oppressed. That's the nature of oppression. You know I have a spare dictionary for you. Because you really should learn what oppression means. Oppression and sexism, or racism, are not synonymous with each other. However, they can overlap. One could be the most privileged man on the planet, and he would still be facing sexism or racism. Being offended by something is not the same as being oppressed by something. Okay, so you agree that being triggered by something doesn't make you oppressed. Therefore, video game developers should not be pressured into creating female-friendly environments. You agree that trying to ban certain words because it might trigger her or harm some girl's confidence it's absolutely ludicrous. You agree that making rape jokes is absolutely fine because all it is is basically just a joke. But I've seen plenty of feminists complain about how we should not offend people. Uh, you know, talking about microtransactions or whatnot. So bearing that in mind, quite simply, sexism is a form of oppression. I am not saying that men don't face negative stereotyping, and I am not saying that men don't face prejudice and oppression in society. However, only oppressed people experience all of that, as well as it being institutionalized and systemic. In other words, sexism means privilege. Women cannot be sexist towards men. That's fucking stupid when you're living in the first world. Don't pretend that you are oppressed. You're living under a roof. You have high, you have a high definition camera. And you have more than enough money to get a stupid feminist haircut. You are more privileged than most men in the United States. But you know what? Fuck the dictionary. We're just gonna base our facts with our feelings, right? Also, did you not say earlier that the oppressors cannot be oppressed, but then say that men can face oppression? Unless you're talking about a specific group of men, say gay men, trans men, blacks, hispanics, etc. Your first statement doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. Because, after all, feminists will tend to say things like on how we live in a hyper-masculine society where it's dominated by men. But you're saying that men in general can still face oppression. Which is hypocritical. Here's how your argument wouldn't have sucked. Now you're going to tell people how to criticize feminism? Quit femspain! Okay? Don't tell me these things, you hetero shitlord! If you're discussing sexism within feminism, it should be about how some parts of feminism could actually be really problematic for trans people, as well as people who don't sign to any gender, and people who are gender fluid. So, you admit that 
feminism is sexist towards a group of people who created their own gender on Tumblr. Apparently, even feminism is not diverse enough. It hasn't included the transabled folks yet. Look, I'm just going to flat out say this. Gender is not on a spectrum. It's not like a fucking rainbow. You're either male or female. If you feel you are a transgender, then you may swap out your gender. But that's the only kind of trans that is okay. This message was supported by Tumblr. A lot of mainstream feminism at the moment needs to work a lot harder on being more inclusive. But men can get raped too. I can't stand this argument. You have to be a certain level of horrible to pit victims against each other, whatever gender. Well, it is valid criticism. Men get raped as well. And I know your counter-argument. It's basically that only a small minority of men get raped and it's usually by other men when that is some, it's a lie. Men get raped as often as women. However, thanks to the feminists, the term made to penetrate doesn't even count as rape. Like always, there'll be links. There will also be a couple of links towards TLD videos, as this man will go to extreme detail about his sources. I am hoping, however, that TLD does in fact make a video response to you, because it's almost too good to pass this up. Also, I find that people use this argument a lot when discussing rape culture, and actually they don't quite know what the discussion is about. One, rape culture doesn't exist. And two, like I said before, men get raped as often as women. And this is not counting prison rape. If you care about putting a end to rape, it should not be only about 50% of the world. Otherwise, well, it seems that you're a fucking sexist. I want to handle this the right way because feminism supports all victims of rape. Then why is it that feminists are not speaking out against, uh, like, the lack of rape centers for men? Or the lack of homeless shelters for men? We don't see mainstream feminists talk about this. We see feminists complain about how wearing a certain outfit is problematic. If you care about men getting raped, then one must show proof that they care about rape. But in the context of why your argument sucks, we are fully aware that men get raped too. We are not ignorant. Being aware of something and doing something are two different things. I'm aware that there are children starving in Africa. Does that mean that I'm going to do anything about it? No. You as an individual, cannot speak on behalf of every feminist. Once again, unless you show us proof that feminists are protesting about men's issues by writing letters to the government or at least protesting at the courthouse, we need proof. What we were actually discussing was rape culture, so not the act itself. Rape culture is when you ask victims what they were wearing. Were they flirting beforehand? Asking if they possibly had too much to drink. That's fucking stupid. You're basically saying that no matter the circumstance, there's no way in the world that the victim could have prevented the rape. If a burglar breaks into your house, but you left the front door open, it's partially your fault that your items have been stolen because if the door was closed, guess what? You could have prevented the robbery. Same thing applies to this lady. It's not victim blaming. They're not saying it's your fault that you were raped. They're saying that some of your actions have been reckless, which has led to you getting raped. Besides, if the cops don't ask questions to the victim, how in the world can you determine on whether or not the victim is telling the truth because there has been cases where the victim has lied in order to get attention? Don't pretend that women don't lie about getting raped. This is on par of prank calling the fire department, which has very severe consequences. Questions like if you were drinking beer is some legit concern because beer can affect your body and your memory because it can be a bit fuzzy if you consume a little bit of beer. We cannot just simply just take her word for it that she's been raped because we live in a judicial system where it is innocent until proven guilty and not the other way around. You know how many men would end up avoiding women in general because of the fuck up system you bring? Whilst anyone can get raped, rape culture predominantly affects women. Men do not get asked if they were showing too much skin. Mostly because when it comes to men, it's not taken as seriously. Thanks, feminist. When a man said that he was raped by a chick, most people won't even take it seriously. For a man, being raped by a chick is traumatizing. But it seems so ridiculous by society that it's just laughed at. 
Rape culture is currently ingrained in society. There are people that would never rape anybody, but sometimes their actions and sometimes their words might contribute towards rape culture. Let me guess. Rape jokes are an example. Here's how your argument wouldn't suck. Every single rape prevention tip is geared towards people being in charge of not getting raped. Not teaching rapists not to rape. So this is pretty much your logic. How to prevent rape. The feminist edition. I'm the already explorer, and I'm about to teach you how to prevent rape. You just gotta say, rape is no raping. Say it with me. Rape, rape is, is no, no raping. raping. Rape is no raping! Rape is no raping! Oh, man! And that's how a rapist know he should not go raping people. Just tell him to stop. This is a proven study that is supported by facts. From from his websites. Teaching rapists not to rape is as effective as telling a serial killer not to kill, or telling a gay man not to be gay. If it was that simple, crime itself would go down to the point of not existing at all. You're living in this My Little Pony fanfiction where all these problems can be solved by a simple bear hug. So there's the big problem. The other problem in that is that most of these tips are aimed at women. With color changing nail varnish, for example. There needs to be more done to prevent rape for everybody, such as those glasses that change color when they detect a substance. That way everyone can be safe. Is that a thing that I haven't heard of? I have no rebuttal, I'm just fucking curious if that's even real. Well, that's just my opinion. Before any argument, you're going to have to show that you know what you're talking about before your opinion is valid. Perhaps you should take your own advice. I can tell you that I think socks have emotions. That's just my opinion. It doesn't make it true. Most of the time this has been used because you said your piece, somebody else has come back with personal experience or references, or anything really, and because your argument doesn't extend past that's that, then you swiftly state that that is your made up opinion. Two of the three sources that you have listed down below is based on opinions. However, because feminists like yourself somehow know what's really going on, you get to use these articles based on nothing more than speculation and use it as facts. Anyone could debunk these articles in a matter of seconds. If you want to prove your point, find something that is non-biased, i.e. a non-feminist website. Instead of saying that's just your opinion, try saying, I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this because I feel like I am right. Please do your research because without it, no one has a leg to stand on. That's pretty much your argument in a nutshell. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. I am so sick hearing about feminism. Shocker, so are we. Please help us not have to talk about this all the time. Okay, but you have to talk about it because of patriarchy. For fuck's sakes, I can tell you are a bit of a narcissist because of your Twitter feed. Well, I'm a woman and I don't find that offensive. This is quite a hefty topic about internalized misogyny and that is a whole other video. Well, I'm hoping that you do make another video and gives me an excuse to be a bit more productive. Your argument sucks because you do not speak on behalf of all women. Neither do I. Neither does anybody. Except maybe Beyonce. Yes, the same Beyonce who took part of this video. This is Ban Bossy. Take one. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 And did you not say this earlier ago? Being offended by something is not the same as being oppressed by something. Somehow, a woman who wanted to ban the word bossy somehow gets to speak on behalf of every girl according to you. Not to mention that you're lying through your teeth. You say you don't speak on behalf of every girl, yet feminists do this all the time. For example, if a woman says that she doesn't get harassed on the street, they will say, oh, but just because you don't get harassed on the street doesn't mean that other women won't. And then change the meaning to harassment from touching a woman without consent to just simply catcalling. And then say that a lot of women face harassment. Once again, you're lying through your teeth. When you say this, you're choosing to ignore the negative ramifications that this particular thing might have on other women. You may even be overlooking the negative ramifications this could have on you. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. Either way, it's a really selfish argument. I can't tell you how to feel about things, that's up to you, but don't throw everyone else under the bus in the process. Like what you're doing right now. 
Yeah, but what about men's rights? Men already have all the rights. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this because I feel like I am right. These are just some of the examples that men are facing today. However, feminists like yourself ignore these problems. You say the MRAs do not focus on these problems, yet here we are bringing these up. Chances are you don't even know that some of these right here, what you see before you, are actually legit problems. I think people use this argument a lot because it's hard to see just how something affects your life until you don't have it. I'm middle class and white. I come from extreme privilege and if it wasn't for people talking about it, I never would have thought about it. Because when you're privileged, you don't have to think about it. So why is it that I feel like you're still complaining about how oppressed you are? Also, men's rights movements that are around now don't even care about men. Citation needed. We can't just take your word for it. When we say you don't care about men's rights, you say that you do care. And when the MRA say that they care about men's rights, then you say they're lying. And you have nothing to back up your claims. This is just baseless accusations you are making. You're no better than fucking chanting binks. That's what really pisses me off. Being fair, any movement that sets out to help people is a good thing, right? The problem is the men's rights movements do not support male victims of rape. They do not support male domestic abuse victims. They don't support trans men. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this because I feel like I am right. Do you know who do support them? Feminists. Again, citation needed. Where is the outraged feminist? Where are the blogs or videos made by feminists explaining these issues? Why hasn't Lazy Green say shit about men's rights? It's because you're talking shit out of your ass. And I doubt any of the sources that you have linked is proof that feminists care about men's rights. Feminism is ruining movies. Slash series slash comics. I blame Sweden with the unnecessary batch del test they enforced on movies. This argument gets rolled out every time something gets launched with women in it, basically. What? A woman in a movie? Has the world gone mad? No one ever gives a damn about a woman in filming. As long as the movie is kicking ass, nobody's gonna care. Why is it totally fine to expect women to enjoy and relate to things that involve mainly men? But as soon as more than one woman comes on screen, we're taking over? Citation needed! Are you sure you're getting your information right? Some of the best movies out there contain strong or funny women. For example, Frozen, The Lego Movie, Mad Max Fury Road, Tango, and hell, even My Little Pony. Find one blog that is so anti-women that they create some sort of movie list where this guy talks about how America has become pussified about all these women in film. We need proof, not fucking baseless claims. Here's how your argument wouldn't suck. Just injecting female characters into a film or a TV series and not spending the time developing their characters or even writing them not only ruins the movie and the TV show, but also puts a massive hindrance in women in the industry and it's crap. Um, how about everyone? You know, men, women, those with a drama with sex to have a personality? You know a show isn't going to work if the male characters are bland and boring. You fucking sexist. Oh wait, you can't be sexist. You can never be sexist toward men because sexism is power. But I can call you a racist because you never mentioned Puerto Rican men. I'm one of them, actually. So yeah, you're a fucking racist. That means I can hit girls, right? Don't hit anybody! Why do you want to hit people? Is it like really hard to live, restraining yourself from hitting people all day? Welcome to equality. If you hit a man, don't expect a hug in return. You're using this argument as a quick way to put feminists in their place. To make them think that this isn't actually what they want. The other thing is that you're already hitting us. In the UK alone, 1.4 million women and 700,000 men are suffering from domestic abuse. So we want you to stop hitting us. I never done any research on the UK, but I do know for certain someone who has made videos about this. Again, I will leave a link in the case you are wondering. But in a nutshell, men are victims as much as women when it comes to domestic abuse. Not all men. If we're discussing something about men and it's not something that you have particularly done, then that's great. The reason why your argument sucks is because you have to understand that many men have done this. I thought of this. But I'm not going to do any research on this, 
because I feel like I am right. You're labeling men in general. You're putting fear into women while at the same time dehumanizing men by making them look like rapists by default until they are properly educated or even better, becoming a feminist. The majority even. It's always sucky to have to acknowledge that something that you're a part of has bad bits, but that's just life. So if I were to say that women are child abusers because many women abuse their children, will you then say, well, not all women are like that? It's a proven fact, mate. Again, link is in the description. So stop driving conversations back to you because it's not about you. Your narcissism level is showing. This argument gets used a lot when women do things to protect themselves and are a bit defensive. As we mentioned earlier, rape is up to us to stop. And that's when they say, but not all men. Like, you may not be a rapist, but you've got to acknowledge why women do certain things to protect themselves. Like, again, dehumanizing men in general and lying through your teeth. You can't take these actions personally because there is a much bigger picture than you. You should take your own advice. The thing with all these arguments against feminism is that if you wanted to have a proper discussion about it, you would have googled it. So basically you're too lazy to debate? Uh, I've done your research, but you didn't, which makes you an ass. Yet all you have is provided subjective opinions. You've not shown any proof that the MRAs do not care about men's rights, nor have you provided any links that back up what you're saying. Two of the links you provided are based on subjective opinion and is biased. And the third link is just a definition of domestic violence, but it doesn't really help much. I didn't mean to attack anyone in this video, I just wanted to show you just how ridiculous these arguments sound. You mean like strawmanning the shit out of the anti-feminist? And I know there's tons that I missed, uh, which means I'll probably end up in the comments, which means, much to your excitement, I will do another one of these. But generally, you should just research things that you're talking about. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this. Because I feel like I am right. And if you don't know anything about a subject, don't weigh in with your opinion. And maybe just trust what people say about their own experiences. Just kind of simple stuff. So listen and believe, gotcha! Don't be skeptical! That's for morons! I, I, don't, I don't think anyone's still here, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, just walk away slowly. You got nothing on me. So, I see you're willing to show my video towards your friends. Good, I hope they see your flaws. I really do hope that these guys can stand up against actual criticism. Cause you know you are the, you're supposed to be the rational one, right? Anyway, you're in for quite a shock that I'm not the only one who's making a video response as much more larger YouTubers are going after you as well. So I will leave a couple links to the other YouTubers who made their video responses to you. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.